Okay, let's get started with uh, an unbelievable line here called the Euler line. And it's tough to see right now because uh, we haven't drawn the Euler line. What you see in front of you is just a triangle here. And we've tried to uh, just plot three of the four special points that we've discovered this week. Uh, what are the three points you can see here? Well, the first one is the centroid right here. Another one uh, is the orthocenter. And the last one here is the circumcenter. Uh, you may be wondering which one are we missing? We're missing the in center. The in center is not included in this special line in here. And hopefully you've discovered that it's really hard for three medians to come together to form a special point such as a centroid. It's really hard for three lines to come together for this point of intersection called the orthocenter. And it's really difficult for three lines such as the perpendicular bisectors to form uh, the circumcenter. And it's so hard to do even uh, individually. But yet, when we examine any triangle in the world, whether it's a right triangle, a Q triangle, obtuse triangle, there appears to be an incredible relationship between these three points. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take any two of these points right here and I'm going to say please construct a a line. And if you notice, this line, no matter what triangle I draw in here, this line is always going through those three points, the orthocenter, the circumcenter, and the centroid, making those three points collinear. Now, as a small review in here, if I take one of these angles as a B, and I rotate it around, so I'm notice I'm forcing A to be the right angle in here. And notice as soon as it's a right triangle, look at it as a review. The orthocenter is at the vertex of the right angle, and the circumcenter is at the midpoint of the hypotenuse. And notice if I rotate it on the other side, notice it's true again. The right angle is now angle C, and the orthocenter goes back home to the right angle. Uh, on the triangle and the circumcenter is the midpoint of the hypotenuse and I can also do the same thing for angle B. If angle B is right there, I've now made it 90 degrees. Orthocenter is on the triangle at the vertex at a right angle. Circumcenter is at the midpoint of the hypotenuse. And keep in mind the centroid is always going to be in between these two. If you don't know if you notice that, the orthocenter and circumcenter seem to be floating around the centroid at all times no matter what triangle I draw. And one final note here about the Euler line, that's this very famous line in here. Try to notice a special relationship between this distance here and that distance here. And we've seen something similar to this over the last uh, two weeks in here. And if you take note, that distance in here is going to be half as long as that distance in here. And that's always going to be uh, true, no matter what triangle I have. So notice... It's a, little, it's a little easier to see in this light right here. This is always going to be double the distance from, between the orthocenter and the centroid relative to the distance between the centroid and the circumcenter, which is going to be half as long as that one. So hopefully you enjoyed the Euler line here. The Euler line is spelled E-U-L-E-R. It's a little unusual. So um, that is a summary of the Euler line.